In this video, I want to do an overview of the breakout room feature within Google Me Plus, one of the favorites that attracts people to the use of this app. It's a pro feature that can be accessible by clicking on the grid item here at the toolbar. This will open a screen where you can actually create a number of breakout rooms from 1 to 15 of them. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of them. Then once you create a breakout rooms, the system will automatically generate new meet links for these breakout rooms to take place in. You can actually name the breakout rooms if you need to. Let's say, for example, you're a teacher and you're trying to do two different activities, and then there's going to be two different breakout rooms for that. Then maybe you are also creating a room that for people that want to get help with something else entirely. So maybe you'll add a room uh, because you realize after the fact that you need an extra room. By the way, if you uh, try to create breakout rooms again, this button will clear everything you just did and start the rooms from scratch. So. If you need to create a new room, you must create by adding a room over here. Likewise, you can remove rooms one at a time if you decide you no longer need them. So let's say I call this the help room. Now, within the room features, there's also an ability to actually make allow users to stay in the main room as they're shifted to the new room. So I'll show you that how that happens with activity one room. You also have the ability to allow users to return to the main room, and I'll show you how that happens as well. And you also can have the ability to allow users to enter the room by choice. When you do that, it opens up on the left side of the screen a little join option that allows you to enter that if you decide to as a user. Okay, so now the other thing you can do is randomly assign users to a rooms all right, by clicking on that button, or you can drag users from the uh, user list into the rooms you want them to be in, right? So once you put the users in the right place and you're ready to send them, you can send them all at once by clicking on send all or send one at a time by clicking send next to the room here. And that will automatically send the users there. Do make sure that the options that you want for the room are adjusted before you send people, because if you change the options after the fact, uh, it will be too late. You can also decide to put a timer on the room. And by putting a timer on the room, this allows users to see how much time they have left before they have to return. And the system will automatically bring them back if the time runs out, which I won't wait for in this video, but that will happen automatically. Okay, so let's go ahead and send everybody to those rooms. So you can see that immediately the users will start to leave the room as they are sent into those places. Now, you can also decide to join all the rooms yourself if you want to, or join a single one of those rooms if that applies. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to join this second room over here. That, of course, will open a second tab. Well, you will eventually have to meet and join into that room. Now, once everybody is where you want them to be, if you go over peak here, you can actually see who's inside. So I joined it, and then somebody else also inside. Now, notice in that first room, the person also stayed in the main room since I activated that option after the person was sent. On the second room, the people should have the option to return. So you can kind of see how that looks like from the second room. There's a little button on the left side that gives them the, the ability to return to main room. And if I click that, it will automatically send the user back to the main room. Also looked how the timer on the top left is counting down the time before the user automatically gets sent back to the main room. And here I can also request that the host joins this room. And if I do that, it will send a link to the host on the main screen, letting them know that I want them in there. Now I'm actually already in there. And if I click on focus, it will shift my tabs into that room. I can also mute all. If I do that, it will make sure that the, the, the noise from the, those rooms is not coming to me because sometimes it can be overwhelming if you're receiving multiple audios at once. But when you click on focus, the audio from that room will come back into focus. It is also possible to message each room. Let's say, for example, I want to say there's one minute left. And when I send that message, all the people who are in that room will receive that message as a notification on the left side of the screen. So it's a really useful tool to talk to everybody. You can send messages to all groups at once. You can join all groups at once. You can also even copy the room assignments for future use and save them. If you save the configuration, give it a name, then it will show up in the history. And then from here, you can Im import that for future use. Also, previously used rooms can automatically uh, be uh, it saved for import later as well under the history tab. And there's also an instruction tab that tells you everything that I just told you in this video. So there's a lot of features within this, but notice that users from the activity two automatically came back already because their time ran out. But I can also bring everybody back by clicking the bring back all button. So this is an excellent tool to create small group conversations within a large meeting. We'll